So as many of you know, in Breakpoint, we will now have access to classes that will be shared progression across PvP and PvE. During the premiere stream, we were told a little bit of information about two of the different classes available at launch, which I will go over those points in this video with extra details. And along with that, we'll be taking a look at a question I've been asked a lot lately, which is, will weapons be locked to specific classes? But of course, like always, let's waste no more time and let's get right into the video. To start things off, let's go over the two classes that we already have official confirmation of, which the first one on the list being the Panther class. This class is everything the assassin was supposed to be. Uh, if you're into stealth gameplay or running in like a maniac, then pulling a fast one by vanishing and getting the hell out of there, this is the class for you, basically. Every single class comes equipped with a special skill. In the case of the panther, it's a cloud of smoke, which in the gameplay reveal, you saw a perfect example of when you use this new special skill, uh, being slide in and rescue a downed ally. And to help out with getting that downed enemy out of there as quick as possible, the panther is one of the quickest classes on its feet as well as on top of that receives zero damage reduction when being suppressed. So for sure, one of the most interesting classes from the two we've heard of, uh, at least in my opinion, from the information that we've gotten so far. But now moving into class number two, and that is the sharpshooter. The special skill for this class is being able to load three extremely lethal rounds into a rifle to deal large amounts of damage to enemies. Along with that, it's able to hold its breath longer than any other class, and it can reload long range weapons faster than any of them as well. So definitely a must have class for all the sniper lovers out there. Now, unfortunately, like I said before, we do not have the information right now about what to expect with the other two classes, but more information will be revealed at E3 this year. So I'll for sure be bringing you guys some good intel on that. The next thing I want to touch up on quickly is the question of will weapons be locked behind classes? Now, although we have yet to have received official word on this, I will show you guys two pieces of information that were shared with us during the reveal of the classes, which may or may not answer the question. But I am extremely curious to hear what you guys think about this, so please do not forget to let me know in the comments. But if you remember when they are introducing the Panther class during the reveal stream, a really interesting thing was said, which I will play that clip in the background for you guys right now so you guys can check it out and let me know. Yeah, absolutely. So Panthers, uh, uh, I have to admit, they don't have access to loud or heavy weapons. but it So according to this, Panthers will not have access to loud or heavy weapons in Breakpoint. Now, when I heard this, I instantly thought to myself, well, mystery solved, right? Then when I was going over the post on the Ghost Recon website, I realized that something which was mentioned in the stream, but I had originally just completely missed it. Something just didn't make sense. And honestly, I may just be going crazy here, but on the screen now, I'm going to show you exactly what was said. Sharpshooters are also able to hold their breath longer than any other players. Now, as far as I'm aware, the only gun that you should need to hold your breath with is a sniper. So honestly, I'm sure we'll get more information information on this and a clearer picture when E3 comes around, but it sounds like to me, yes, some classes won't be able to use certain guns, but you will still technically be able to use every gun in the game, considering you can change your class whenever your heart really desires. But regardless, really curious to hear what you guys all have to say about this. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding what they're saying here, but over the last few days, I have been seeing a lot of you telling me this question in the comments. So I figured why not go back and grab a little bit of information from this and kind of just uh, see what everybody has to say in the comments about it. But anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for the video today. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of wildlands and breakpoint content. Once again, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have been joining the discord. We are about to hit 300 members in the discord. Discord. And honestly, it's really refreshing to be able to go over there and talk to you guys even while I'm in the middle of recording a video. Actually, the same question that I asked you guys at the very end of this video, I went ahead and asked them over there in the chat and some of them had some really good theories on what it actually meant between the holding your breath and the heavy weapons and all that stuff. So definitely if you guys would like to join the discord so you can come talk over here a little bit more about the stuff that we talk about in this video make sure that you go ahead in the description i'm going to have the discord link at the very very top so make sure that you guys go ahead and join but anyways that's pretty much going to do it like always i will see you guys in the next one